Hi everybody! In this film we're going to be taking a look at timeline navigation. Let me talk about what I have set up here, okay? So we, you know what's going on. I've got a couple of buttons, for one for part one and one for part two. The text here says, hey, this is the first part. I know, it's terribly original. And when I get to frame 61, it flips to say, hey, this is the second part. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at the preview really fast and show you what it does. So it's going to flip, go straight through the second part, and it's going to loop back to the beginning to the first part and just loop over and over and over. We want it to stop at the end of the first part and stop at the end of the second part. Then we want these buttons to control which part we look at. All right, so let's start by setting a few things up. I want to make sure that this second part here is a new idea. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell it to insert a keyframe. Okay? Just before this this section of frames here, the one frame before it, I'm going to put a stop command. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe right there that I'm going to open up actions and just simply type in the word stop with an open and closing parenthesis. Watch what happens now when I get out there and preview. It doesn't go any further and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to do the same thing on the very ending frame here. I'm going to insert insert a keyframe. I'm going to go to my actions and I'm going to tell it to stop because I know it's going to loop to the beginning if I don't do this. Okay, those two things about timeline control are taken care of. Now let's hook up these buttons, huh? When we go on this first part, if I click part one, it shouldn't do anything because I'm already on part one. I want something to happen when I click the part two button. Come over to your properties panel. We need to give this an instance name because the, the script needs to know which particular button we're talking about. So this is the part underscore two underscore BTN. Now we can code for this guy. Open up your code snippets. If you can't see it, you're going to need to go to window and then come down to code snippets. Okay. Open up your code snippets. And I am under action script and timeline navigation and I want you to choose to double click go to frame and play because it's going to skip from one place to a different place and what I want to do is I want to skip from 59 or what whatever this frame is 60 to 61 okay now while we're here look at all these other different ones you've got you have one that stop at this frame and that's just the that's just that stop command that I showed you just a second ago you can click uh, you can do this one, which is go to frame and stop. Okay, you can go to the next frame and stop. You know, there's so many different things that you could do. So don't don't feel like you're um, limited to just this one thing that I'm showing you here. Okay, play around. Okay, so I want go to frame and play. I'm going to double click it. It opens up the actions and we can see here that it says go to frame five and play. Well, that's, that's obviously not the frame that I want. I want this frame. I think it's frame 61. So I'm going to type in 61 here. And while we're in this, um, this code here, I want to tell you about it. So this is the part two buttons instance name that we already defined. Okay, so that's, that's just name. This says, hey, Animate, you need to add a listening device here. And what you're going to be listening for is all the stuff between here. So you're going to be listening for something that's happening with the mouse, which is a click. Then you're going to play whatever this function is. This function is right down here. Okay, so there's really two things going on line 10 and then lines 12 through 15. Two different ideas. So 
this is what's going to cause it, and this is what's going to happen. So this is my function, and it's going to frame and play, play frame 61. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, let's preview our animation. So it's doing exactly like we should expect. Now, when I click on part two, hey, success! It goes to the second part. But does it go back? No, because we have that stop action placed on the very last frame of this. Now, if I click part one, does it do anything? No, and that's what we expect. So now let's hook up part one. Okay, so the part one starts on this frame. I, excuse me, the part one button that I need to hook the code to starts on this frame is what I should have said. So I'm gonna click on the part one button. Make sure just the part one button is uh, selected. I had both of them selected. Go up to your instance name, part one BTN is what I'm going to call it. And let's add our code there. All right, so apparently I pulled my button out. Hold on, <laughs> let me put this back, hold on. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our code snippets. We're gonna grab another go to frame and play by double clicking. This time, I want to go all the way back to the beginning of this. So I'm gonna remove five and put in one. Save it and close that. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna preview it. Going to go to part two. Now I should click on part one and it should function. And there it is. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing that little bit of timeline control and I hope you find, find it useful. I'm looking forward to seeing how you use it in your upcoming projects. Take care.